Hey guys, this is Nick, and this is my first attempt at a solar powered aquaponics system. On the right, I've got a 10 gallon fish tank. I picked, it, picked both these up off of Craigslist, a dollar a gallon each. And the one on the left is a five gallon tank. I've had the little fishies in there for a couple weeks, and the little wall powered filter that you can see in the back there. It uh, started making a bunch of noises on me, so I decided to go with an alternative. Went down to the Chinese tool store here and picked up a solar powered pond pump. And what this is doing right now is this is an overflow. This gets a siphon, it siphons off until the water is the same level here. And so as the water flows, it fills up here, it siphons down into here, and it's taking the water from the bottom of the tank here. All the uh, particulates tend to settle in here. <clears throat> I have a little bit of utricular area and some frogs bliss in here. Uh, your reticular area is really cool. It's a small carnivorous weed, and what it does is it uh, has little tiny pockets on it. They're a low pressure and when the protozoa all the way up until uh, about the size of mosquito larvae come up and try to feed off those little nodules that get sucked in and the plant uses it for food and the frog's bliss is just there because it came with the utricularia. So this is that little uh, solar powered pond pump. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's a little murky in there right now. Uh, it's rated at 46 gallons an hour and it goes up and feeds through the gravel bed here and I have some basil growing in the gravel bed right now we'll see how well they do with this low lighting here and uh, water flows through the gravel bed to the other side goes out the bottom comes up and dumps out into the aquarium oxygenating the water and cleaning it at the same time As I was saying, the little pump, according to the instruction manual, is rated at uh, 46 gallons an hour, which means that the uh, area inside the aquarium there is probably changing. To, yeah, I figure we've probably got about 12, 13 gallons. That's probably changing about four times an hour, which I think is an all right ratio. Maybe a little bit less. The fish seem to like it. And something else I found out with these little, uh, what do they Chai chilids? Ch ch chilids? I can't even speak. They like algae. So I've been taking little tiny PVC pipe fittings, putting them outside in the water, uh, take, put them in a bucket in the sunlight, and they grow algae on them. And I'll put them in here, and these guys will just go nuts and just mow all that algae off the side of the tank off of uh, the PVC fitting. And I still feed them with some duckweed and some commercial food. But hopefully my duckweed will be getting growing fast enough here that I should be able to start feeding them all off of duckweed. And that's pretty much it for now. I'm hoping in the future to uh, expand this. My other system is about 50 gallons. And I know that the uh, little tiny pump off the solar panel would about not be enough to run the water up high enough. This thing only seems to rise, uh, lift the water about 20, 25 inches or so, somewhere in there, depending on the sunlight. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's the box. And since it was about $17, on sale, I picked up two of them. Come to this little tiny pump, same as the one seen over there. Some fittings for making it into a fountain sprayer, and a solar panel. 
Incidentally, the solar panel is 7 volts, open circuit, and I'm trying to think, I didn't test it, it says here 1.2 watts. I didn't check the current on it, but uh, if the pump ever fails, that's going to be a USB charger of some sort. And I'll put it up on a backpack or something for hiking.